Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will be learning one practical use case where user face this kind of a situation when the user needs to do some time transformations or needs to calculate the hours worked from different employees in different dates. So there is a mixed kind of a data I have created. So first let me explain and then we will solve this in Power Query. So this video is relevant for Excel users as well and the Power BI as well because Power Query remains same in both applications. So if you can look at the data, we have a couple of employees here and uh, we have their start time and end time. And if you look at the time for employee Salim, he usually comes in the morning a.m. and goes in the evening. But in some of the days, if you can see, on 3rd June, he came to 11 a.m. and then he goes to the next day, 1 a.m. Similarly, on 6th June, uh, he came at 6 p.m. and then he goes to the next day, 1 a.m. Okay. Similarly, for another employee called Munir, uh, there are different time zones highlighted in orange and yellow so as you can significantly see uh, the normal timings is coming uh, in am and then time out is pm but in one of the day he came at 11 pm and time out is next day 3 am so this is happens where we have different kind of set of industries like hospitals bank call centers airports uh, and any other organization which is running 24 7 just like hospitals so we have three to two to three uh, shifts of different employees and they exchange with each other their times on different dates as well so they're kind of, of a mixed data like uh, coming at p.m. and going to the next day a.m. or vice versa so how to get the correct uh, time difference through the power query now as a or eventually it might take more than 30 minutes to uh, see that if that traditional formula is creating a correct logic for you so we are not wasting our time we will be smartly using excel component that is called power query to transform our data and i will show you how it give more couple of advantages of using it as well so the first thing uh, we need to understand is we have this data and we have converted this data into a table format okay data has been called as data you can give any nice name you would like to so in my case I have given this particular array as a data name then I will go to data tab and I will click on from table or range to get into the power query so that will open a power query editor where we can see our data the first thing is we need to fill down employee ID and names because we need to get rid of null values so we will select employee ID in names column and we will go to transform fill down okay the next thing is to take the time difference so we will first select the end time column then we will select the start time column that's very important and then we will go to add column tab here you can see we have a feature called time and we will say it do subtraction so we got the subtraction column where we got the time difference then we will click on duration and we need total hours so it will add one more column of total hours now we don't need this particular column so right click remove and we can change the format as we want okay see how easy it was to get uh, the total hours for each of the date for different employee and on different dates instead of having a mixed data as well right the next thing is we can do a summary we can create a summary for based on employee id names and total hours as well so we can use group by feature available in, in power query and i will show you if you use excel 365 you can add dynamic array function of group by as well so let's do it as well so first i will make a copy of this data table so right click I will make it as a reference and I will call it as summarize or any other name you would like to give okay then the next thing is that we will go to the transform tab and we will click on group by that will open up a window 
where we need to retain two columns uh, to create a summary or a group employee ID and name so we will click on advance let's click on add grouping and select names here what the new column name we need to give so you can write any name you would like to I will say working hours or you can say total working hours and then what kind of operation you would like to select sum based on the existing column that is total hours and click OK and that's it you got the summary see how easy it is now let's go to home click close and load and see couple of advantages of Power Query so when you click on close and load it will open up a new sheet inside this Excel workbook where we get our summarized data as you can see here we have four employees right now and their total working hours whereas we got the data sheet where we have uh, the total hours column as well available here now for instance uh, what happens if we don't want to summarize with a group by feature in Power Query like this you can also do it with the help of uh, dynamic array function so let me give you a demonstration so we will be using group by in the raw fields we need two columns let's say employee ID and names then in the values we will pick total hours columns we want to do the aggregation of sum and then bracket close so how easy it is if with the help of dynamic array functions as well uh, if you don't want the total raw you can exclude this as well by writing or adding a zero to that field uh, and if you want to sort by the highest number of working hours to the lowest so you can add one more dynamic array function that is sort and let's sort based on in sort index will be two and we need descending so we need to put minus one see how easy it is right and on parallel we have the summary summarize sheet from the group by feature of power query now what happens if we add some more record for example next day or next week we got more data and we have added just below it now see what happens when I go to my this particular data which is being derived from power query I just need to refresh and that's it the new employee Raheem has been added in the list the existing employee hours has been also updated and if I go to the summarize right click refresh and this is also being automated and updated as well see how easy it is okay 